there's four different elements in hip hop. I always use this analogy of comparing it to a First Nations culture. So in First Nations culture, you have the music side of it. You have the beat, which would be the drum, the powwow drum. Okay, so you have the drum. That's like the heartbeat of the culture. So in hip hop, the DJ would play the music. So that would be the beat behind that culture. For the art side of it, so every culture has the music, then there's the art side of it. So in hip hop, they have graffiti. So in First Nations culture, the art side of it would be the beating, the quill work that they wear when they're dressed in their power regalia. Okay, so those are two elements of the culture. The third element would be rapping, which is the voice, the speaking of it. And in the First Nations culture, it would be the language. You know, so rap is the language of the hip hop culture. And whether it be Cree or Sioux or Dene or Ojibwe, that is actually their language. So that's another way to look at it. Those are three elements. The fourth element of hip hop is the break dancing, which is the dance of it. And in First Nations culture, there's different types of power dances. So you have jingle dress, you have fancy dance, you have men's traditional, women's traditional, and those the fancy shawl dance. Those are all different forms of dancing, but that's that's what makes up a culture. In First Nations culture, everything works in fours, okay? So um, the, the four directions, you have the four elements. It's like a medicine wheel. 